Hey guys, this is Bryce Humphrey with DIY Outdoors, and uh, today we are setting pan poundage on our MB750 traps, and I just wanted to go over a little do-it-yourself trick that I kind of maneuvered to uh, to set it, and so what I did, I got a bag of uh, water bottles, and I tied it to a stick. So I could set the stick down on the trap and uh, there's plenty of other ways to do it and uh, you don't have to do it this way but uh, I was just going to show you guys a little trick that I use to uh, set my pan tension. Uh, anyways uh, on the water bottles they are 16.9 ounces and 16 ounces in a pound. So is what I did was I got four water bottles and then I added the nine ounces times four for the how many water bottles I had and got 36. Divided that by 16 because 16 ounces is in a pound and I got 2.25. So that plus the four pounds from... The original 16 ounces of water uh, came out to 6.25 pounds. Uh, you can run your trap a little heavier than that if you want. I know guys that run 8 pounds and, uh, and 10 pounds, but um, I just like it a little lighter. Uh, it's in the springtime now, so we aren't going to get too much snow now. And so I'm not too worried about how much snow is going to build up on top of the trap while I'm gone to set it off. Uh, and we got to check it uh, every 72 hours anyway. So um, in that amount of time and you watch the weather, um, you shouldn't be having any problems. So uh, anyways, I will show you what I came up with. And I got the pan set already and we can go over that. Okay, so this is what I came up with. I didn't have any tape or anything, so I figured a trash bag, four water bottles, and a stick to uh, to try it out. And here we are, MB750, Minnesota trapping. And uh, yeah. Let's see, it's at 6.25 pounds, so let's see if it goes off. We'll just keep, I'll show you too where we can tighten it, but um, let's just see if it goes off. And that's 6.25 pounds and it is holding perfectly, so awesome. That one is set. Um, I got here another box. Um, got a whole bunch. And uh, here we got the wax, odorless trap wax. This is what you need to do. Here's this uh, the trapping die. Tells you what to do on here. It's really nice. And here we got some. K9 lure, oops, sorry. Uh, and pretty much everything. Trap setter tools. You can order all this uh, on their website, Minnesota Trappers. And uh, they're really great guys. They do a lot of donations to uh, the Foundation for Wildlife Management. And we appreciate that a lot because any wolf that one of us members can get or anyone uh, it helps out a lot so i will go through this and all these traps we got to check the tension and um, then we got the boiling process as you guys can see right here where your pan is goes up and down uh, you could tighten your traps right here this little brass uh, nut right there and that will uh, 
that will tighten it and loosen it to whatever poundage you want. So, uh, anyways, good luck out there, guys. Um, I hope this video helps you. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, anything. I even thought of stacking water bottles, but this stick I found. So, if not, uh, go to a store and uh, you can get a professional uh, paying tensioner, tester. I was going to let you guys uh, know also um, on their traps, instead of doing uh, the, the dye and, and all that, um, you can uh, powder coat them too. So you don't have to do as much of a process. It's way easier. And uh, it's not cutting corners or anything. But, uh, and they won't uh, freeze up as easy as well. So uh, just keep that in mind too when you order some new traps. Uh, if they're brand new and you got some time, maybe powder coat them, uh, whatever color you want. And uh, it'll save you the dying problem.